all and today i'm going to hack the question paper of je means by exploiting their weakness of either questions or the options as much as possible and this will not only save your time but also this intelligent hacking will give you more confidence because for some lengthy questions you will be sure shot in their solution so we have the integration and there are four options now clearly the question set lacks the you know the rigorousness in the options and we can exploit that weakness here so instead of integrating we can go other way around we can differentiate these options and since all the portions is common here so it's wise to differentiate this you know ln of something differentiation is 1 by 10 inverse that thing into derivative of tan inverse something is 1 by x cube plus 1 by x cube whole square plus 1 x cube derivative will be 3x square and 1 by x cube will be minus 3 by x cube now clearly you can see from here we can take three common right and if i compare this both expression of course constant i am not comparing so this contact is just goes out and we want these two guys to match right and you can clearly see by take, taking lcm like this quantity is matching with this right so we have three extra so in order to compensate for this 1 by 3 must be there in the coefficient now clearly the weakness of option is option 2 was having one as the coefficient so that's not possible 1 by 6 is not possible 1 by 9 is not possible 1 by 3 is the answer with hack can help you imagine as if i am plotting uh, this is not mathematically fully rigorous but as i have already warned you in the beginning so let's say tan theta if i call as y and sec theta if i call x so we have one expression 2y square minus x equals 1 and we know sec square theta minus tan square theta is 1 right so x square minus y square x square minus 1 y will be definitely 1 right so basically we have two equation now if i roughly want to plot it so y equals 1 plus x square will be variable here yeah? and the first equation is y square is 1 plus x by 2 which roughly goes like at x equals minus 1 0 and it will show something like this right so the point is it will have two point of intersection okay uh, now we can check whether it can have x is negative point of intersection because if x is negative uh of course like y can be something and so whatever point of intersection means like this point so in in one cycle when we are going let's say if i start from this 0 degree so in one cycle we are capturing two solutions like in two cycles we are capturing four solution in three cycle we are capturing six solution we want to get least seven solution so right so for seven solutions we will have three complete cycle and extra pi by 2 right it means 3 and 1 quarter so of course to capture seven solutions okay exactly seven solutions how many cycles we to do so three complete cycle which is 6 pi and of course one half cycle which is pi by 2 and that gives you 13 pi by 2 so hence the value of n will get 13 so this entire work can be reduced and finally we'll get the answer the beauty of the question was in the beauty of their options again they tried to make the options beautiful and they lose somewhere you know the generality of the problem so if dx by 1 minus 2a cos x plus a square is there there is nothing mentioned about a Okay, of course a is real because of our constant of syllabus. So if I put a equals zero, if I keep a equals zero, this integration is just pi. But unfortunately, all the options will give pi, right? By putting a equal to zero, so a equals zero is not working. Next, what is the best choice? Yeah, of course I can put a infinity. So if a is infinity, this quantity will just die. So integration must be zero. Now at a equals infinity, this limit will be pi. So this cannot be the answer. This limit is minus pi. This cannot be the answer. Put a infinity. The arcade of one one is gone. So this limit will be pi by infinity, which is zero. So this may be the possible answer, and similarly one, right? How to find limit a tends to infinity? Just ignore one and simply calculate. So now we know for sure cos option two and three cannot be the answer. So there is a tug of war between one and four. And now how to kill this? It's too simple. Now you put a equals one. If I keep a equals one, the integration evaluates to zero to x dx by one plus one, which is two minus two cos x, and that amounts to dx by two sine square x by two. Now clearly sine square x by two, if we graph, 
at 0 and pi. So at 0, it will go to infinity. At pi, it will go to infinity. It will have some mean mark. Like you don't need to exactly graph, just feel. So clearly between this, we'll get a finite answer. The answer must convert because of the options. So clearly at a equals 1, the answer cannot be 0 because there is some finite area. So option 4 is gone, hence option 1 is correct. And that simply kills the problem. Now you see, if you are trying to solve this constitutionally here, how much time it takes? Uh, of course, you have to use King's rule. And after King's rule, you will simplify to get this expression. And that, again, now you have cost square in something. So we don't know what to do. So we'll try to convert into 10x and second square x. Square. And that's exactly has been done. Put again 10x ht. So converted everything is 10x and second square dx. Change the limit accordingly. Do the calculations. And finally, you get the answer. So you see, this entire 6 to 7 method has been killed in 6 seconds. Like striking the weakness of question setting. Uh, even you can play question 8 as well. Like inverse 2x is pi by 4. So we know 10 inverse x graph is this, right? Because it can saturate to pi by 2 at infinity, not exactly, and minus pi by 2. So just you need to know this. Now, just by looking at this, clearly we can see option 2 and option 4 cannot be possible. Why? Because 10 inverse 1 itself is pi by 4. So to get the answer 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse 2x equals pi by 4, and all these values is positive, we must have some alpha lying between 0 to 1, right? So if it is more than 1, clearly their addition will be more than pi by 4, of course. So now we are left with two options, either it's root 5 minus 1 by 2 or root 17 minus 3 by 4. Right? Now out of this, both can be the possible answers. So even if you want to guess, you can randomly guess it, but still here is a logic, right? What's the logic? Uh, I'll not tell like you solve it, otherwise that will not be a hack, right? So the logic is out of this, which is a smaller. Okay, because we have alpha and 2 alpha. So if alpha is giving this height, clearly 2 alpha will be somewhere here, right? So it is giving this height. Uh, at x equals minus 5 by 2, clearly this function is not defined. Okay, so option 1 and option 4 cannot be the answer. Either it will be 2 or 3. Now, if I'll put minus half because we want the answer, the answer... Okay, so if I'll keep minus half, we'll get to be 3 by 8. And at 3 by 8, this function is very happy. It means this is allowed. Okay, so okay, so let's move for the next question. Let R be the interior region between these two lines and containing the origin. The center value of A for which the points lies in region R. Now you clearly know like this locus of this point will be x equals A square and y equals A plus 1. Which will give y minus 1 whole square equals x. Now clearly these two lines are given by this region. And we can easily see the vertex of this parabola is 0, 1 because x 0 and y 1 will satisfy. So this point is exactly the vertex 0, 1 because the line meets the axis at 0, 1. Now if we draw the parabola, it will be something like this. Like whatever it does, whether it crosses, uh, you know, like intersects this line L1 above x axis or whatever, it doesn't matter. Now we know since A square must run from some value, let's say this is a point of intersection alpha to beta or maybe gamma to delta. So it's some finite value alpha to beta, right? So definitely A runs from for some root alpha to root beta. So the value of A must be in some finite range, whatever it is. Okay, so there is no need to calculate all this. Why? Because from the options, this is infinite range. This is minus infinity to minus one, it cannot be. Minus infinity to minus two cannot be, so option two is correct. Uh, let's move to the next question. The position vector of ABC are given here. So it's one, two, three, two, one, three. So clearly you can see like this, and 1, 1, 3, okay. So here, one observation is, instead of doing all this, you know, like lengthy calculation, you could have observed like it's an isosceles triangle. And once you know it's, it's an isosceles, the perpendicular, the altitude will become the angle bisector. Okay. Moreover, this point will become midpoint. So midpoint M, we can find simply by A plus B by 2. So once you know point M, and the point A is given, length is nothing but mod of A minus M. And the question is done. Uh, 21 this was a straightforward question 2 ka power n minus 2 ka power n is 56 you could have easily guessed the values okay. 22 uh, 22 here the way they have solved is using you know like uh, <coughs> 22 the way they have solved is using Kelly Hamilton theorem although you could have taken you know, like uh, this is basically eigenvalues problem, which I've already discussed in one of the videos. So fundamentally, they have made this very basic problem. And if you start doing by taking A equals X, Y, Z, W, it will take time clearly. Okay. And if you know all Kelly Hamilton property and relative trace in this, so it can be solved very fast. 
because usually if eisen values of a matrix a for further information just you can view my lecture on the beauty of matrix is minus 1 and 3 the eisen value of a square will be 6 square so it will be 1 and 9 and the trace of matrix is nothing but sum of eigen values 1 plus 9 10 so if you would have known that theory you could have solved in 5 seconds uh, area of bonded figure is a standard question so there is no much hack because it's integer type so you have to solve uh, line x1 is tied into a circle so you have a circle tangent so distance from center equals radius straight forward you can't hack because you have to solve okay now coming to lengthy questions you see most of the lengthiest question will always come from calculus and as you have seen all calculus problem i killed by hack okay so why not to kill this also what we can do f of x is 0 to x gt this where g is an odd continuous function have they mentioned anything about g apart from being odd no so put gt is 0 function fx is 0 function f of x 0 this is gone right question is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square cos x by 1 plus c cap over x now you know like in these problems you have algebraic and trigonometry and 1 plus c cap over x so this is a standard king's rule and directly you can delete this to save your time once you are deleting the denominator because 1 plus fx and 1 minus f of x in exponential will add so you can delete the limit of integration because two times will be deleted so 0 to pi by 2 x square cos x and now this much you have to calculate integration by parts which becomes an NCRT questions and that gives you an answer too so basically you can skip all these calculations okay and directly we can you could have done integration by parts and this gives answer as to 26 clearly there is a hack 2024 was not a special number so you can assume it's just one so find alpha n plus beta n okay so s3 alpha q plus beta q a plus b whole q minus 3 into a plus b or you could have used a recursion relation which is discussed everywhere mean median mode still there is a hack because mu a square is mean and sigma square is standard deviation so what is sigma square which is variance right so what is variance it's a square of mean minus mean of a square okay so mean of a square minus a square of mean mu a square so you see sigma a square plus mu a square sigma a square plus mu a square is just sigma a square by n so they are asking just mu plus sigma a square by n. you need to you need not calculate sigma a square and mu a square separately so that saves half your half of your calculation okay 28 still we can hack but this is a risky hack okay let me write and let not uh, because i'm a lover of maths i don't want you to you know like get trapped in wrong conclusion this is risky hacking uh, hacking sense first let me hack it x tends to zero so i can assume sin x behaves like x so alpha x cos x behavior will be more or less like beta ln 1 minus x will behave like just minus x because ln 1 minus x by x limit x tends to zero will give minus 1 you know as standard limit so its behavior is more or less like minus x divided by 10x will behave like x because this is 10x graph and it's behaving like x near about 0 so now this limit we want 1 by 3 now clearly you can see it feels meaningless because we are getting 3 plus beta plus x into alpha minus 1 uh, by 3x square so 3 3 is getting cancelled that's nice by x square by x square equal to 1 so i want this answer to be 1 right i want this answer to be 1 so of course for limit to x is x is tending to 0 it must become 0 by 0 form so beta must be minus 3 now it's 0 so alpha minus 1 by 0 you know like is again undefined because 0 by 0 plus 0 by 0 0 by 0 can be anything plus anything because it's not exact 0 okay so it's tending to 0 now anything plus anything can be definitely 1 so that's not a violation of the mathematical statement so hence if i cancel x i must fix alpha to be 1 that's the only way we can get so hence alpha is 1 beta is minus 3 and put 2 alpha minus beta so 2 plus 3 5 is the answer this differential equation question which feels almost impossible let's see how smartly we can do it so y0 equals 2 so the curve is passing through 0 comma 2 now we want the value at 2 right so if if this function were constant in the imaginary situations which is clearly not there why because at x equals 0 at x equals 0 y value is 2 so at 0 comma 2 the slope dy by dx if you plug 0 comma 2 is going to be negative is going to be exactly 0 so at this point function slope is 0 now what it will do either it will increase or it will decrease right why i'm telling is monotonic because why it can't do like this or this it's not possible because you know this is linear kind of expressions so either we'll get answer in 10 inverse something 
or we'll get log on something and we know time inverse is aesthetically increasing and log in is also increasing function so there will be no kink available in the pictures so that makes our guess more smart now suppose if this is the possibility so clearly at x equals 2 maybe uh let's say height is more than 2 let's say 4 so at 2 comma 4 what is the value clearly at 2 comma 4 this will be negative right dy by dx at 2 comma 4 will be negative so this cannot be the graph because you can clearly see this is increasing so at the point slope is not you know negative rather is positive so for it to be negative the only thing it can happen like it will first increase and then decrease and that kink behavior i have already discluded by looking at the function so the curve must follow something like this so at 2 whatever answer it is it must be less than 2 and you see there are weak options it's 2 it cannot be e a square is more than 2 it cannot be e is more than 2 it can't be answer is 0 okay so almost you know like 60 to 70 percent of the paper is already had so I hope you have enjoyed this and moreover you see like how we are hacking. Of course, until and unless you are good at concept, uh, it's not possible to hack so easily, but definitely like even someone who is not acquainted with more concept, he can at least hack, you know, like some 10 to 20% questions. And that means a lot, your percentile will boost because mathematics will be the game changer.